me? That's you. Ooh, you oh boy. Electrified. Yeah, you electrocuted. <laughs> okay, we're all ready. I'll call the meeting to Arlington EDA to order at 5.30, Monday, June 14th. Will you all join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Matt just walked in, so we have everybody present. Uh, before we approve the agenda, Amy, you have any additions? Nope, I have uh, nothing. Anybody else have any additions? Okay. Is there a motion to approve the agenda? I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Oh, okay. Motion by Craig, second by Dean to uh, approve the agenda. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Has everybody had a? I think it's you. Oops, it is you. It's not. No, it's not me. I just shut it off. Oh. Is it Dean? Yeah. Mine's off. Mine's still on. I don't think it's me. Okay, has everybody had a chance to look at the minutes from May 10th, 2021? I'll make a motion we approve them as presented. Second. Motion by Dean, second by Matt to approve the May 10th minutes. All in favor? Say aye. 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 All aye. opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Approval of the financial reports, May 2021. Amy? I just want to point out that Napa has paid off their revolving loan. I was going to ask. Wow. That. Did that? Just happened since mm. the last meeting or two? Yes, I believe they refinanced. Okay. And paid ours off. Mm. Well, how could they get better interest rate than what we have? I don't know. Hmm. Unfortunately, they paid off Arlington <laughs> Industries, oh. too. So, <laughs> 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 oh. we're not making any money anymore. Shoot. Well, that's okay. So now we got to get another loan out there. Mm -hmm. Is that something maybe I should put in the paper? Okay. We're going to give it away for a price. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Money's not worth anything right now, so mm -hmm. it'd be very competitive if you do make a loan. <laughs> okay, is there any motion to approve the financial so reports? Second. Motion by Tim, second by Larry, to approve the financial reports, May 2021. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. New business, it doesn't look like there's any. Old business, <coughs> have a dog park, Amy? We have a dollar amount for our dog park now. It is included in your packet, 12,133 dollars and 60 cents. Kurt and I were talking um, I can keep going or? Yeah, it makes no difference. You can. Uh, we have some money raised, um, shy of $3,000 for the dog park. Mm -hmm. But at the last city council meeting, Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation presented, and they have a $10,000 grant available. They encouraged us, council members remember, mm -hmm. they encouraged us to apply for it because they said they had uh, quite a bit of money available for grants this year. So Kurt and I were talking, and that even though the cost of the supplies is high right now due to COVID and the shortages, I think we're going to go ahead and apply for that grant. Uh, the Choose Arlington grant, or Choose Arlington will apply, and they have received that grant before it was used for Howard's business. So now I think we're going to look at it for this because it is a community, uh, this is uh, for community projects, and this is definitely a community project, especially with the different funds we have received. Uh, part of the grant match will be the money we have raised, as well as any of my time that I put into it we can use as a match. Would the EDA be interested in putting any actual money towards the grant match? Oh, they match. They match. A <coughs> yeah, the, mm -hmm. we, it's actually it's a really good match for Southern Minnesota Initiative Foundation. Uh, the applicant has to put in 25%. 
and that can include, and we already have some donations, and that can include my time. So I was just wondering if the EDA would like to kick in a couple hundred dollars for the dog. How park. much shy are we of three thousand? Oh, I think right now we have a little over twenty five hundred. I did go to the Knights of the Columbus meeting. They gave two fifty. Um, Arlington VFW, they asked me to come to their meeting, so I did. They want to make a donation, but they want to wait till maybe it gets a little closer to four or $5,000. Mm -hmm. I'd say why not I'll give two fifty uh, if you want to okay. put us down for that. I'll break the news to Mark. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that'd be yeah. awesome. Uh, uh, then you can walk your dog. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, our, uh -huh. who's going to take care of this? The biggest problem I've been hearing is who's going to take care of this? Who's going to pick up the manure mm -hmm. and all this stuff? Is there a group of people that are interested, mm -hmm. like Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts? Well, it'll can? have to be like other cities do. You have to pick up your own poop. Um, you bring your dog out there, maybe we'll end up, we have extra cameras upstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, we have cameras at other parks. We can mm -hmm. put a camera at that park. Mm -hmm. Who are these people? I mean, I know a few people, but they don't even have a dog. I can tell you a few, yeah. So they're not even, uh, that just irks me. They're never going to be out there, so why are they so worried? They're the people that are never happy. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. yes. They don't want to see Oh, them. we all know them. Yeah. 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 We held a public hearing. You guys yeah, where were they? Yeah. Where were they to come and say, we had a, it was all support for a dog park. I would, yeah. I would say they're more mute if they can't show up to anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they can't yeah. put anything in the paper and stand behind their name, then. Then they're just talking. We did get the same news release, I think, after the gals at city council meeting. So that's how I brought up the Amy. And then I did email that gal. It's the same gal we had to work with on yeah. your grant yeah. to see if Choose Arlington could be eligible because you, you have to every wait a, other year. every other year. And she okay. said, yes, we are. And, well, it's not saying we'll get it, but if we don't apply, then we don't. We we'll might as well try. How much do we actually need to? Twelve thousand. Mm. No, but I mean, mm. uh, to get to, in order to make this, you know, are you talking about a shortfall here to, in order to make a matching grant, or we need twenty-five percent of that, and we can include my hours, though. Well, that's five thousand right there. At, <laughs> at my rate, including taxes and insurance. <laughs> that's five thousand. <laughs> 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 Probably about ten grand, but oh. that's that's not saying we have to do it right away. We could wait several months we have and, one year to use our and wait for that price to go down on fencing because every time we call Tim, and sometimes it's like, well, this is a price for the next uh, three days. Mm -hmm. Ours says well, I mean, how do you? Good for ten, 10 days. days. Yeah, I mean, how do you? Um, <laughs> but if so, we get volunteers to put the post in, we get volunteers. Mm -hmm. Was that an installed yeah. fence price? That's installed. Yeah, that everything. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Well, then, uh, so if we can get grant money to cover so, everything uh, and have it professionally installed. Well, yeah. How much do we do need it? from the EDA to yeah. make that grant work? It's actually not about the dollar amount. It's about the support. If we yeah. could say the well, EDA. Well, I support it. I think well, the EDA is. 200 bucks is what I was thinking. Yeah. I know it's Choose Arlington money. could probably you put in 200 bucks. Why not? I think the more... <laughs> I'm not working anymore, Tim. Oh, okay. No, I didn't mean you personally. <laughs> speaking for the EDA. <laughs> Once we get this all, is it going to require new seating or any grass or anything out there? No, we haven't planned on doing anything mm. with the ground out there. We, okay. we should include... Well, it looks really play. good. I am, I well, except now for kind of the drought. The but drought but yeah. the grass In May, I mean, the grass is really good. Uh, yeah. And the water is there. Lee will help us set up And the city's going to have to winterize that, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. The water part. Right. That's, that's, not easy to that's something we can take care of, though. Because mm. you want to see the city support, the EDA support. If they, they want to make sure they, we the that we're going to put some... Is the park supporting this yet? Or? No. No, because you know, that's a couple of people in the parks that don't have dogs are the ones that are opposed to this. So. But I think the EDA a long time ago, Laura, mm. Mills, 
I'm oh, wow. I'll support it. That's why we have a public mm. hearing. Now, do we need a dollar amount tonight before we... The deadline for the grant, and if you want, we'll work on it, is, or is July 15th. We need to work on it. If you want to throw out something like two hundred dollars, I think the EDA can handle that. And I said we support the project. So moved. Second. Second. Okay. Yep. okay. Motion by Dean, second by Tim for the EDA to donate two hundred dollars towards the dog park. And don't forget to text me that we owe you two fifty for the dog park. <laughs> Somebody, I don't have a pen on me. Wow. As much as you've been working, you can do a thousand. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it should be mm. up Bernstein today. Oh, uh, <laughs> I forgot about that. It's not a donation. It is. Uh, oh. Just, just it, it, it's it's a fund. contribution. Well, we can't donate money. The city of the EDA can't donate money. So it's a contribution. Buy one fence post? We can buy a fence post. Okay. <laughs> the EDA is part mm. of it. So um, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. The oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. Support. <laughs> awesome. Mine is flashing now, so it's stupid not to. Mm. It's got to be that one. That's okay, our next um, item of business, Hemp Heaven. Amy, you have an update on that for us? Uh, yeah, I still have an operation with Eric Bushman. Mm. But I'm fairly confident that we're going to end up with that one back. I, I did hear something mm. through the grapevine that they're planning to give that back to us. Mm. So we'll work, I will work with Attorney Arneson to get that back owned by the mm. EDA and we'll have to go from there with reselling it to the owner. Hmm. We've done that before. Yeah. We have. Uh, it's not new to us. Mm. <laughs> Anybody have any questions on that? Okay. EDA Director, update on businesses and housing, Amy. Specifically with businesses, we're still waiting for the survey and the legal description for the nickel property so that Stoney can close. Bolton and Knight is working with Attorney Arneson. I'm going to get Attorney Arneson's help on the legal description. The city sold off. A, a mini update on Scott equipment expansion. People Scott see the yeah. steel yeah. beams yeah. going up. That's about and a $15 million dollar expansion <coughs> out there. Nice. If you've toured Scott equipment, they have different bays where they work on the different projects they're working on, and some of those are shipped internationally. I know they ship to other countries, Mexico and things, with some of their, uh, like they um, mix up feed and stuff. And uh, they're adding more bays, a lot more bays to this new expansion. So they eventually will add some more employees and it'll make it easier for semis that come through. Uh, they'll be able to drive through, come in one end and out the other versus trying to turn around. Is it going to be attached to the other building? <coughs> And it, and it doesn't happen overnight, yeah. 
Awesome. Any other questions for Amy? I also want to oh. say, I just want to give an update. We're also part of, we're giving a subsidy to Dave Stylish for the villas. He picked up four of his permits, so they'll begin construction on four of the rental units, and then they said that they would do another four. They're going to do eight altogether. They'll do the next four in the fall. So he got his part, the, the, the stuff all taken care of on the switching it from 16 to 8? Yeah. Well, we did that a long time ago. We actually oh. did that at the end of 2020 so that he would not get a tax statement in 2021 or 16 with the tax returns. Okay. Now we took care of that, consolidating that. I was thinking that was what was kind of holding him up a little no, bit. No, what was holding him up was an MPPA permit. Oh. Now that he's got that, he's good to go. Okay. Hmm. So do did you or could you give a little update on Tony Huff, how he's done some projects for the city of Arlington and has saved money for the city of Arlington? Yeah, he's very reasonable. We had um, Chandler, the work that was going on in Chandler, mm -hmm. York Street, uh, there was uh, water water gushing there, but he, uh, he did take care of some work. We normally hire someone to come in when we need work done. Like there's a tool from Hutch or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. sure. <laughs> So like water mains and stuff, he'll go in and mm -hmm. do that? He has quite a bit of experience with that we found out. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I just, uh, I don't think that's important to know that he's doing work here and saving taxpayers money, mm -hmm. so. This fell, that's the other one. Oh yeah, I heard of him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next, planning and zoning update. Philip Mangus, the uh, third. Yeah, I haven't got a hotel 
hooked up yet to come No, and that I'm I am currently <laughs> looking at. I'm trying to figure out. I mean, I have, I'm going to talk to Mr. Ross and probably be doing some housing stuff and like that. But my main goal right now is trying to bring in an industry because I don't want to end up, so I don't want us to end up like the city of Pittsburgh where we build up all this housing and then there is really just like no incentive. We kind of just shoot ourselves in the foot. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out a balancing act where Right now, I'm trying to look at to see what incentives there could be for like industry to come in and stuff like that. So I'm working on that at the same time, trying to figure out housing. Because I mean, I, I'm for a hotel coming in here, but right now I think we need more like residential type things. I mean, I'm also looking at the hotel thing as well. That's what brought to my attention. So I'm looking into that, but I haven't really dove deep into it yet. Because I, I kind of want to get the industry thing kicking off and getting those centers there. We, my opinion, and I'm not sure if you guys agree. If we do build the hotel, I don't really like. No offense, but there's what would make people come here to stay, <laughs> you know, minus the racetracks and stuff. But that people drive in already from that stuff. So I think there would be. I'm trying to figure out ways that can maybe incentivize people to come here to like just relax and like hang out or things like that. So I've been looking at that in my spare time. Um, Still working on it. I don't really know how to begin on that, so I gotta. <laughs> hopefully, things die down, and for me right now, I can like take. I I've been touring the place by myself, like the town just goes down, like I said, the center, and start working with people here. My only downfall is not a lot of historical stuff here, so. Um, that that was one thing. City of Pittsburgh had a lot of that. Um, I'm trying to think of different ways, just like I said, to bring people here before I would get interested. A winery, a brewery. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I actually, I was thinking maybe if we could, like, if we would be interested in it, I'd have to look at the code, maybe doing something like that, maybe working with some farmers. Because I have seen it just driving around, and some people do have, like, their own little small wineries and stuff like that, maybe do an incentive to maybe grow that a little bit. But I would have to talk to farmers about mm -hmm. that and see. I'm still trying to get familiar with, like, the major crops that you guys grow and stuff here. <laughs> That's the only thing. I mean, I think beer would probably be more Beer's ideal because mm. the beer's good. Given um, Green Isle good. has a distribution center mm. already, that might I might be in works because I, I, they want me to be their EDA director over there. So there might be some more incentive there. But like I said, I I'm trying to bring people in for business wise. Like I said, right now. Kind of like do like a new like our own like case study type thing, our own thing that other cities don't have. Like we have like our own indoor hawk stuff and indoor wineries, like something along those lines. Mm -hmm. I don't like I said. I, this is just me mm -hmm. thinking. Out, but I really have anything concrete to give you on that. Okay. You have it? Well, excuse me. You have anything else for us? Or? No, no, that's it. I was just about to wrap up. There's really nothing else. Okay. For Any other questions for Phil or? Oh, Phil. Mm -hmm. You called me about fixing the community center's air conditioner, I think. I'm oh, yeah, that was... Why not plumbing and heating? Yeah, so don't worry about okay. that. Okay. Uh, that was me jumping the gun. <laughs> the only one I'll work on is this one, because we put yeah. the one in this room, but the rest of them are over and above my I was head. not aware it was on a timer. That's just my fault. I kind of <laughs> just was up. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's, that's my bad. Um, Amy called me down, because I got kind of nervous. I'm like, crap, I don't know. I'm not a handyman. I don't know what to do. Um, and I forgot you were Marge's um, son. So yeah. I, I literally Everybody know. knows me as Marge's no. son. <laughs> Someday you will get a first name. I, I, write, I, write, I, write, I literally live in her house. So I, so oh, I'm you're, sure. you're <laughs> renting. Yeah, okay. So that, See, different. I don't even know this. <laughs> that free rent. Yeah. 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 Mm. So that, that, that's the thing. We learn something new every day. We, we did. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but, we did. But yeah, no, that was just me jumping the gun. He, uh, other than that, we're good. Everything we're good. Working. Okay. Yeah. So far, everything's good. Thanks. Is there anything else? 
Okay, uh, director and board comments. Anybody? starting to feel that the natives of Arlington are beginning to think that they don't want them in their town. I'm happy to have them. Well, I reassured Lee that it's not the entire town that complain of a new smell or a new noise and some of the small frequent things that have came up visited through it, uh, and I told him it's maybe two or three people out of the lovely, funny 200 that we have in town that are probably wrecking it for him. Mm -hmm. I'm just one person with one voice. Nobody's ever complained to me about Northland Drive, and my wife works there. Hey, mm -hmm. My wife makes a darn good wage, and she's compensated very well with health insurance, and in the county of Sibley, you ain't going to find nothing better at that level with no college degree, no experience, nothing like that. So I think if we could somehow to give businesses like Northland a little bit of a positive spin, whether it be with hurt in the paper or something of that, because without Northland, Scott equipment I believe our property taxes are going to go up to support what we need as a community. Um, I think what Philip and Amy and Kurt and the attorney and some of the other underlying issues that Northland has, um, I talked with Lee about that and he was trying to figure out how he could get through that and relieve Northland of those. Forward type of deal. They have an employee that doesn't really communicate the really best with everyone, and he's not 100% forthcoming with uh, the accurate information to his bosses. No. <coughs> that employee also does not live in town. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so after I spoke with Lee about that and some of the other feedback that I have gotten from Attorney Arneson, kind of put it on Lee that that employee has got to suck it up and make it right and do what he's got to do so that his employer doesn't have the struggle. Uh, and they were, you know, they're, they're, they're growing. They're going to add another dryer uh, within the next six months or whatever. Uh, they're doing considerable bituminous paving and stuff like that. They're in their scheme, so I don't believe they're going to go anywhere. But I know, as being somewhat of an entrepreneur, it makes your day really foggy when you got two people that complain about noise. And out of everybody that I've ever talked to, Richie Miller being one that lives across from the place, uh, the noise so far in our neighborhood, and, and I'm just speaking for 102 East Victory Street, I can't hear nothing over there. Yeah, there's some days it stinks. You know, you can smell that, that, that sweet burned potato smell. But I guarantee you, when I drive a, a half a block away from Seneca at 6 o'clock in the morning at 90 degrees in the end of July, that has a little bit more lovely well, aroma. The canning under. factory used to yeah. mm -hmm. really stink. Yeah, I really would like to know. We've talked, yeah, they were, you know, they have that issue with the particulate below the cars and whatnot, but I really want to know what you guys talked about when I blew, blew down, blew the tops off my silos when I was working for Sunstone, and the windows are going down Main Street. Because <laughs> I don't remember any complaint. you know, I didn't get any complaints. Yeah. <coughs> well, are so, there any uh, active complaints right now to mm -hmm. the council? Or to, the city to, to, to what I know on council, there was two noise complaints and one smell complaint. Mm -hmm. Recently. I'd say within the last three weeks. Right? Within the last couple of weeks, we've still hearing 
Well, when you got mm -hmm. the heat, everything smells. Heat and humidity. I can smell Sharpie's cows from out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hear them. I, 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 I <laughs> hear them. Yeah. Yeah. They make, they, they keep me awake sometimes. Yeah. Well, well, we're I thought you couldn't hear very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do think you got a problem with someone that comes to the council and the EDA and doesn't communicate with us yep. and goes back and doesn't communicate with us. That's a big problem. Yeah. And if you're going to lie to us or something like mm -hmm. that, you got problems. I mean, I don't mm -hmm. care what they do with him, but yeah. make him stew potatoes, but don't have him come and lie to the council and the mm -hmm. EDA. And, and Lee had told me that they're moving him from that position into a new position. And Lee did tell me that they value him as an employee because with the employee safety and yeah. that type of stuff, he said that he's very good at that. And Lee and I also came to the mutual understanding that some of his presence with and some of his attitudes with Arlington Council, some of his past actions, you know, and me and Lee talked about it, you don't complain and you don't, you don't crucify someone or a group of somebody's and then come and have to beg for help. That morally grows fine and, you know, goes along. I got on for putting a sign up about the perp, and I wasn't asked to go. I'm like, you guys better do that. Like, I'm not working. I'm 100% willing to work with them. They're meeting everything. The residents of Arlington will have to understand. Like, they're meeting everything planning wise. They, they have to mm -hmm. meet my stuff in the building code, obviously. They meet everything occasionally smells. I mean, it's like what Ross said during the meeting. Mm -hmm. I'm mean, defining that. It's really I think once they get black. I think if everybody. I pretty much people are not there. I'm not here to make friends. <coughs> Wait till I come to the council Monday night about your stupid train you got. Or stupid train. Stupid train. Stupid, stupid train. Stupid. They go about 20 miles an hour past my place and they're blowing the sucker from the bridge. And I'm standing there right in the middle of the damn road. Man, <laughs> man. <laughs> Just like, really? No we got drop arms. Did you? Did you do that? <laughs> no. That's probably I why am, they keep I am, open it. I am this close. <laughs> no. I think I think that's a requirement for them. And there's 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 portions of it. There is, yeah. but not that much. I mean, there's drop arms now. We paid a lot of money to put the drop arms in. There is ordinances and stuff that we can control. But that like dude, Jake breaking, I still hear those guys no, do that every no. now and then. Those are okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he's a diesel guy. Yeah. 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 I think I slipped the other day when I came into town and rolled right through nine. And well, they heard me. No, it's ridiculous. It's stupid. Anyway, you're right. They do it. But any other comments or? I think one thing you'll have to remember, there's there's always going to be opposition, and um, everything we've done, at least since I've been on the EDA and Amy's been here, I mean, there's been some opposition. A few people in town, Whack and Sack, remember, we had one person, mm -hmm. TSC building, the Hops Place, Hemp Heaven. Yeah. Now, a, alone, 10 years ago, I mean, a dog park, yeah. there's always going to... Well, look at the crap we got from Tony. Yeah, yeah, and Tony too. Um, yeah. So I don't think we can you know, get overly excited if we get a few complaints because there are there are about twenty two hundred other people that we are happy and we never hear from. So when we sell the house down there, we just have Leah do it on a Sunday when they're not running. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they break down about every other day for about 12 hours. So. Uh, okay, any other director and board comments from anybody? Okay, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. I'll second that motion. Motion by Tim, second by Dean to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. Lights out. <laughs>